Sometimes we saw you were oh, tied up and gagged. What happened yeah, to you? Yeah, well, about the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I have been on many sets in my time and been very fortunate enough to go to the likes of Street, Ramsey Street, South Fork, Lark Rise to Candleford. You can look forward to that in the new year. I but loved you in Lark Rise to Candleford. An invitation, an invitation to the set of spooks and to sizzle on the grid was one not to be refused. Here's what happened. They do not exist. You will never know their true identities, but they are all that stand between us and those that wish to do us harm. Welcome to the world. Spooks. Not now, mother. Here we are, another busy day. Well, nine to five, or am I five? I think we recognise these two faces, <laughs> of course we have. Harry and Roz, a.k.a. Peter and Hermione. Thanks for letting us in. Pleasure. Backstage on the grid. Yes, you're privileged. Well, I am privileged, and you, sir, are very privileged to be here, because the last time we saw you, you were gaffer taped in the boot of a car. Now, I like a joke at the weekend, but that seemed quite serious. Yes, it was more serious for me. It was like gaffer tape and a body bag and inside the boot of a car. Now, I'm quite claustrophobic. You should eat. This is as good as it gets. What are you going to do with me? I will sell you on. Of course. You should be proud of the price you command. There are some people who will be concerned as to my whereabouts. Just received this from the cabinet office, and by that I mean the press office. Apparently, in season eight of Spooks, the team is in a state of panic. Yes, it's quite a subdued state of panic. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't look very panicked. No, no, it's uh, trying to get Roz to panic is... Uh, <laughs> It's quite a, a feat, actually. But yeah. She is the ice queen, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. Ice cream. Ice, I, I, queen. ice queen. Ice queen, yes. Yeah. We have to proceed as if he's alive. That video is not genuine. You throw a ton of money at a Russian turncoat, you're going to want to see a lot more for your investment than one video on the web. Even if the video is fake, there's one thing we can be sure of. When they no longer have any use for Harry, they will kill him. Then we have to act fast. Do you think perhaps some chemistry will, will simmer? Um, there's, chem there's certainly chemistry happening in uh, in this series. What are we, series eight now? Yeah. Um, Lucas finds a bit of intimacy with a CIA agent called Sarah Caulfield. Right. And she she brings with her the uh, the thread that runs through uh, this series, um, which is called Nightingale. Well, this is spooky. Last scene, sailing off down the Thames. Betrayed by her country, we have lovely Nicola. Well, when I say Nicola, that we know her is Ruth. And you're back. I know. How exciting is that? It's, it's very exciting. Best desk job in the world. It is. But things have changed. I don't know if you have you noticed how much it's changed here. The grid has changed. It, it, it's far more high tech than it was. It really is. I got all my paper taken away from me just now in an earlier scene. I spent all my time writing my lines on bits of paper, and the director came in and went, "No, it's computers now." Ruth is back. Are you allowed yes. to see that? Yes, we're allowed to see that. We're allowed to go on. Yeah. With a vengeance. With a vengeance. Yeah. Now, we're not allowed to reveal where she's been, but Harry always held a candle, flickering or otherwise, that's yet to be snuffed out for Ruth. Yes, it's true. It's true. <laughs> You know, we'd get more response from them if they were actually gaffer taped him in the boot of a car. Okay, James Bond or Lucas then? Lucas. Who's James Bond? Well, there you have it, Queen and Country saved for another day. After all, in the capable hands of our favourite spooks, what could possibly go wrong? You know, I, I have to say, I you always the have a handy wheel of gaffer tape just <laughs> yeah, in case. Just in case, you know, you never know we're going to need it. <laughs> but um, I watched the first three episodes back to back last night, and the dialogue is so fast. As always, I'm like, well, it looks serious. <laughs> <laughs> but I have no idea what's on, going look, on. You've told us Harry's back. You know, at the end of the last series, we weren't sure. Ruth's Harry? back. I mean, Richard. And there are two shock departures. Oh. And now I do need to be gagged. Time mm. for the weather, I think. <laughs> Can't leave it there. It's going to be brilliant. It's oh, brilliant. Tune in tonight, exciting. you'll enjoy it. Yeah, Nine o'clock. Awesome, awesome, awesome.